In today's battle, we have the thick Q60 from Height, an amazing cooler. I absolutely love it. I love the LCD display on it and we're putting it up. It's a 240 millimeter cooler versus the NZXT 360. You'd think that the 360 outperforms the 240, but you might be surprised. So let's get into the video. Let's see which one's hotter. Let's see which one does a better job keeping this 14900KS cool and let's get into it. A oh, boom. So for our original test, I'm going to be comparing the Thick Q60 to the NZXT Kraken 360 Elite. Uh, it's a great cooler currently. I really like the Kraken 360. Uh, I like the LCD. I really like NZXT Cam in general. I find it much easier to use like compared to Corsair's IQ and stuff like that. Um, it's a very expensive cooler. They're about the same price. So let's put them head to head. I want to see if the extra fan makes a difference or if the thicker radiator makes a difference. I have a feeling like the Q60 is going to win this comparison. Uh, I'm hoping that they do because we love height so um, without further ado let's begin testing for temperature testing I'm going to be using HW monitor uh, it's a great software that we use all the time we're gonna be stress testing with both Cinebench and we're gonna throw this into a game I downloaded Valorant already we're not using any GPU so all the load is going to be on the CPU we're gonna see how hot it gets with the Kraken 360 Elite and as well with the thick Q60 so without further ado Let's load up the game, let's load up HW monitor and see what the temps really are. I wanna check idle temperatures. I want this as a good benchmark to see just idle, which one's better. So for starters, we got the Kraken 360 Elite. It idles at 31 to 35 degrees, 46 degrees, uh, 31 degrees right now at idle, pretty good. I mean, for a 14900KS, very good. Uh, I can see that the megahertz of the processor they were kind of low, they're spiking in between. So it's uh, it's looking really good for the Kraken 360. Idle temps are great. Let's go ahead and load up a game. Uh, just to make it all even, we're gonna do a test bench. We're gonna do a practice mode of this. Let's go into the open range and let's enter it. So in the background, we have HW monitor recording and we should see a min and max, uh, the max obviously being the hottest that it has reached. And at the end of the firing range, after about five minutes, we're gonna check the temps of this and then we're gonna move on to the next one, which is Cinebench. It's even hotter for the CPU. So for this, I'm gonna pick a random, random player and let's get a Vandal going. So I'm in the game right now Client FPS, we're hovering around 180, 200, depending on the area. Not bad. Let's go shoot around. I'm gonna set a timer now for five minutes and at the end of the five minutes, let's get the results of how hot the CPU actually gets. She was hitting a pretty good FPS too, which is the iGPU. Yeah, <clears throat> right now it's hitting really good FPS. It's, uh, well, it was at 300. I, I noticed, you know what's crazy? If you look up at the sky and then look down, You'll notice I'm hitting 260 FPS, 280 looking up, and when I'm in the actual zone, it drops much lower. I don't know, maybe somebody can explain that to me. Travis kind of showed me that trick. Oh, there goes my timer. So let's check the temperatures after five minutes. So they they got a little toasty, nothing like, nothing crazy. Um, right now it's at 45, 46 degrees, the CPU, but it peaked at 56 degrees. I mean, that's not bad. The FPS was crazy. I mean, it's a 4900KS, so FPS is definitely there, but temps were good. I mean, under gaming, it's 56 degrees. So um, that's really good. That's pretty impressive by the NZXT Kraken. Do you guys think we can beat it with the thick Q60? I think we can, but let's see. So next test I'm gonna run is Cinebench. We all know Cinebench cooks, cooks the 14900K. It cooks it. It's the hottest application. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close out Valorant and then we're gonna load up Cinebench. So just for temperature testing, we wanna go to advanced benchmark and then we're gonna test throttling with a 10 minute test. Uh, I'm also going to do it on the CPU multi-core and let's run it. So initial first launch of Cinebench, uh, the temperature is at 65. I'm sure that's going to peak to about 90 something very shortly. Um, well, the screen just went black. Oh, well, it came back on. Well, it went back. 
the HDMI cable. It's a little... Oh, you think it's the HDMI? Because it's too long or it's just the connection might be a little wonky. I don't know. I mean, Cinebench might have just it cooked it. It happened to me. I jiggled it a little and it came back, so... Okay. Hopefully it didn't overheat. Those are high-tech tech tips. You know, just jiggle the cable and sometimes it'll fix it. Yeah, well, I mean, right now it's not fixing it. I loaded Cinebench. It crashed my PC. <laughs> So the monitor actually did just turn on. It, was, uh, it wasn't it was Cinebench, it was just the bad HDMI cable. So uh, just checking on temps right now, still it's only at 70 degrees Celsius. I don't know if HW monitor is not reading it properly, it just jumped to 80, but that's pretty good. Um, all cores are running, everything is good. I mean, temps, temps are pretty solid. 70 to 80 degrees 80 is the max 70 is the current um that's pretty good all right so we have about seven minutes left on the stress test right now it's doing beautifully after three minutes of full load it's only peaked at 80 degrees celsius which is absolutely phenomenal cinebench 14900ks uh good job nzxt your your kraken 360 is well worth the money it's got a beautiful lcd uh and it's it's performance really great so let's see i mean at the end of the test we'll get the final results i'll come back to you guys but right now it's looking at 70 degrees and peaked at 80 so let's fast forward a little and oh. we gotta do something to kill those 10 minutes right that's what i'm saying man i can't just be sitting here i gotta do karaoke i'm a karaoke man i think we got 30 seconds left but just to give you guys like a little so far brief after you know, nine minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, the CPU, the package is right now, it's still at 70. It was at 71, 72. It did peak 87 degrees Celsius, um, which is not bad. I mean, Cinebench, it's notorious for getting 99 degrees, 100 degrees Celsius. So uh, good job, NZXT. Uh, great, great temperatures. Uh, didn't peak past 87. We do have five seconds left to go. Three, two, and one the test is complete ladies and gentlemen i think it has a couple more renders to do but yeah it's all done so oh it went again all right well okay 10 minutes has passed so temperatures let's check everything we got the cpu socket uh everything is good everything is good damn package right now it dropped back to 38 it peaked 87 degrees celsius which is i mean it's hot but it's not even close to overheating so that's that's great um we did have really high uh megahertz we have almost 6185 on two of the cores uh the rest of the cores didn't really peak past 45 what else can we tell you guys about this i mean that's it i mean temps yeah package only hit 87 degrees with the kraken 360 elite so that's really impressive i'm gonna say i think the thick q60 definitely has uh has a strong competitor against it so without further ado i'm going to quickly swap out the coolers we're going to have everything the same and let's check the temperatures let me know in the comments below if you guys think that the q60 will outperform the kraken 360 elite in cinebench and in valorant i don't know it's going to be a tough competition i'm i'm really putting my money on the thick q60 because we really like height so let's check the temps let's see which one's better i'm going to go quickly swap this and transition all right, so I'm just pulling out the Q60, and I know I said I was gonna just transition into this, but I have to mention, look how freaking thick this radiator is. The NZXT has about an inch thickness on the radiator. This one comes at a whopping two and a half, probably three inches of thickness. Very good job. It's heavy too, very heavy. On this side, I'm holding the actual LCD, which is pretty cool. And on the bottom, it does come with a cover to protect the thermal paste. So I'm just gonna quickly swap it, but I did have to mention, thick thick radiator so this one's gonna do a good job for sure all right so i just got the thick q60 installed with the thick radiator it was super easy didn't require anything uh, i wanted to keep the thermal paste that was pre-applied on the thick q60 because we use the pre-applied thermal paste on the kraken so to keep it even everything that came out of the factory we're using it all the same with the pre-applied thermal paste without further ado let's check idle temps so for this i'm gonna go ahead and launch up hw monitor and let's check. I think the other one was at around 30, 31, 32, but you guys fast forward somewhere there. 
and right now it is at 34, 33, 32. All right, so it's about the same. Idle temps are pretty much even. They're both at a 30 degree mark. Uh, it's not like one of them is at 20 degrees or 40. It's it's quite, it's not really a noticeable difference. They're both pretty good at idle. All right, so let's go ahead and launch up a game of Valorant. Everything's gonna be the same. We're still doing the same test practice mode because we want everything to be the same to prove whether or not the thick Q60 is better, worse, or the same as another high-end cooler like the Kraken 360. So let's get into it. All right, I'm playing Omen. Everything is the same. We're gonna start a five minute timer. I'm gonna play the game for five minutes, jump around the map, see how it goes. And at the end of the five minutes, we're gonna compare temperatures. I think the last one only went to about 50 degrees. So let's see what the thick Q60 does in Valorant. So, FPS, it's the same. I mean, the FPS won't really change. It's not thermal throttling or anything, it's the same CPU, so... Um, yeah, we're, we're roaming around the map, we're having fun. Alright, so the timer just went off. It's been five minutes since we've been playing the game. Let's go into HLB monitor and see what the temperatures were, shall we? Okay, let's go to the package. So, the CPU, it peaked at 61 degrees Celsius. Right now it's idling, or not really idling, around 38, 40 degrees, but it did peak 61, which I think it's a little bit hotter than the Kraken 360. Uh, am I right, Remo? I think so. I think so. By yeah. a few degrees. By a few degrees. It's not. It's not nothing noticeable. I mean, it's a couple of degrees. So it's not overheating, anyways. But 61 degrees. It. It is what it is. Uh, next, let's go ahead and open up Cinebench. Cinebench is the true test for any CPU cooler. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna do a 10-minute test. It's gonna test the throttling on the CPU. See how hot it gets and. Three, two, one, let's start up Cinebench. So Cinebench is loading up and right away, instantly the temps right now, they're about 69 degrees. <laughs> but yeah, no, they're actually 69 degrees. Um, and I guess that's the maximum temperature right now. The, the test just started. Um, now it's at 70 degrees, so I think that's a little hotter than the, uh, than the Kraken, but am I wrong or no? I think the Kraken was at 70 degrees, 70 and 80. This one, 69, 66. Okay, all right. It, it still never peaked past 70 degrees. So I think, I think the last one peaked at like 87, so. All right, thick you 60. All right, so I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. Uh, I'll come back when the test is just about to be finished and we'll check the temperatures then. All right, so Cinebench is just finishing up right now. We got our test results already in and without further ado, let's give you the results. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. Uh, 10 minutes is up and we look at our package. So it peaked 82 degrees Celsius which is about five degrees less than the Kraken 360. So that's not bad. I mean, I was expecting it to do the same, if not maybe a little bit hotter, but no. I mean, Valorant was a couple degrees hotter with this, but in Cinebench, where it's under full load, uh, the thick Q60 did a really good job. Five degrees less than the Kraken, so good job to height, good job to your Q60. This is a 14900 KS that we're testing on Cinebench, so it is gonna be hot, but 82 degrees under top, top temp peak load is really good, really good. I'm very happy with the results of this. Uh, they did a great job. I really like the LCD on the thick Q60, so um, I guess we found a winner, the Q60. Definitely took it in the Cinebench results, five degrees less. Um, we're not even using a contact frame for this. I'm sure if we did use a contact frame, temps would be even lower than that, so. Hope you guys like this video. That was the result. Get a thick Q60. If you have the money for it, get one. It's an awesome cooler. I love the LCD. It's really easy to mount. So good job, hype. See you guys in the next video. Love you. Peace.
in three, two, one, boop. Okay. All right, so I've gone ahead and I started. All right, so I've gone ahead and I. Nah. Okay. Oh. It's live. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs>